everyone, it's Heather. I am creating this video to shed a little bit of light on how the Fire TV Unlocked actually works. I'll answer some frequently asked questions and explain the difference between the Fire Stick and the Fire TV. First of all, uh, a lot of people want to know, is it legal? Yes, it's legal. Piracy hasn't hit streaming yet, so if you go like Google any sort of piracy laws on streaming, so on and so forth, there's a bill in effect, but it hasn't been uh, pushed forward yet. So until that day comes, there are no piracy laws on streaming. Everything comes off the internet. So you could go on your computer, your phone, anything, any device right now, and you'd be able to watch anything that I have on this device. The difference is it plugs into your TV and it brings it to your home so you don't have to stare at a small phone, tablet, or sit there with your computer on your lap or sit uncomfortable, excuse me, uncomfortably at your desk. Um, also, people ask me, do you have, do you need more than one? Typically, yes. I mean, you can't, you can move it around your house, boat car wherever pretty easily as long as there's wi-fi you just have to um you can't stream it throughout the house because if you use like a chromecast or any sort of device like that it's going to stream the same movie throughout the house or tv show event whatever it is that you're viewing um a lot of people want to know what kind of internet you need so i like to say the strongest you can get i mean usually if you have xfinity or uh, Charter, Cox, whatever, you know, the big cable company in your area is, that should be more than enough. Which brings me to the biggest question. What's the difference between the two devices? So the box, as you can actually see right here, is a four inch by four inch uh, device, hooks up through HDMI and power source. You can, um, also hook it up through ethernet so that's kind of what makes the box better than the stick because if your internet or your wi-fi is acting up you can shoot it right through the router so you won't ever get that buffering or you know if something happens with your wi-fi we've all had that happen then you you won't ever have a lag in your uh your viewing also not that it matters because if you have a 4k tv your picture quality is going to be amazing but the box is 4k compatible so you you will be able to view 4k quality TV shows but don't be alarmed because the if you have a smart TV then you will have a great picture quality anyway for one and two everything streams in HD or 1080p so even if it's a standard 1980s like VHS movie, you'll get it in high definition or 1080p. And of course, if you have a 4K TV, your picture quality is going to be amazing anyway. Um, I'm using a Samsung Smart TV. It's like a 51 or 55 inch, whatever. You can see the picture quality just on these um, backgrounds and screensavers is really good. So when I show you the movie, you'll be able to see better like how the movie streams. And lastly, I mean, a lot of people always want to know, does this thing update? How does it work? So on and so forth. The apps will update themselves. The apps within the program. The program is called Kodi. And basically, it just, I install a device, I mean, excuse me, a program on your device that gives you access to movies, TV shows, events, music, adult entertainment, um, the, the list is limitless, really. Uh, it does so much. When you get it from me, I mean, I just simple plug and play. All you'll have to do is connect internet, hook your HDMI, up, excuse me, HDMI cord in, power source, change source, and you'll see this screen right here pop up. Now, mine's set up so that the Fire TV is on the main screen. Yours will do that once you get playing with it a lot and if once that becomes the most recent thing that you use. As you can see, I still have Netflix um, and you don't need Netflix, but 
I just keep it because sometimes I don't feel like searching through a million movies because I'll be there for an hour, you know, looking for something when I could have be like an hour into a movie. So I'm going to go launch the Fire TV. This is how you know it's mine because it has my personal emblem on it or branding. This is the main screen. So it's set up basically to plug and to, to just play with. As soon as your internet connection's in, I use Exodus. Exodus is like where you get movies and TV from and um, pretty much anything you want to watch. Once you select it, you'll see it says movies, TV shows, my movies, my shows. That's where you can like add your favorites and stuff within Exodus, but I'll show you another place you can add your favorites from any app. So let's just for haha's, we're gonna go to movies. You can see that there are several categories you can choose from. Genres, year, people, language. Um, I'm just gonna go into most popular, cause why wouldn't you? You can see where it says working down in the right corner. That's just how you know that it's doing something and it's not frozen. So this is what's popular right now. You can see there's movies that are still in theaters on there. Logan is one of them. Um, Hacksaw Ridge, I don't know if it's still in theaters, but it was, but I watched it when it was still in theaters. So, which brings me to movies that are still in theaters, you can't guarantee the picture quality until it hits on demand. So I'm gonna, I'll just select Logan for you so you can see what I'm talking about. This is loading up sources. I mean, sometimes you'll see, it'll, you'll get a perfect picture with movies that are still in theaters because it's been released in another country. And then there are times where you will get a really crappy picture. You know, you can, someone recorded it in the movie theater. You can see heads walking by, you can hear people talking and coughing. So this actually looks like it has some high def links. So you, as you can see on the end here, this one says 1080p, that one says HD. I usually just choose like one of the first like two or three. Let's see if it really does have, you know, high def picture. Says it's working. It actually does have a pretty decent picture for being in theaters still. I can't even complain. I'd probably sit through and watch this one. Sometimes the sound quality is touch and go. It is a little blurry. It looks like it's a little out of focus. So depending on if you could tolerate it or not, I wouldn't say it's the worst picture though. There are some that are much worse. You can fast forward these. You can um, rewind, pause. Yeah, it's a little blurry. It's not super good. But like I said, if you can stand sitting through it, it's beats paying the $15 to go to the movies. I'm going to pause it and go back just so I can show you other movies. Um, so, and you can see here, I mean, you have, the list is endless. These are just the most popular, so it runs off of Internet Movie Database, or IMDB. Um, and that's how it bases what's most popular and what's trending, what uh, box office, Oscar winners, blah, blah, blah. blah. Um, so let's go into new movies, just so we can 
not watch movies that are from 1990. Let's try this movie Split. I hear that one was pretty good. My internet is a little slow today. It does not normally take this long for it to load up. So while we're waiting, with like movies and TV shows, you'd get everything commercial free. Every episode, every season, as long as it's aired on TV. So like Walking Dead comes on on Sundays at 9 p.m. You have to wait till 9 p.m. to watch the most recent one. Um, but other than that, you get everything commercial. I don't even know if Walking Dead has commercials or not, but it would be commercial free on here. So like I said, this one doesn't say whether it has high def or 1080p. Um, I'm going to go ahead and assume it's high def though because it's a pretty new movie. And I usually just choose like the first like two or three whatever after I get done showing you this I will go on to the TV shows With this, it's important that you do understand that it's not necessarily a cable alternative. It's a cable alternative. It's not free cable, you because free cable is actually illegal in the U.S. anyway. Um, but you definitely could reduce your cable bill with this. You wouldn't have to worry about like paying all that extra money for certain channels or especially the movie channels. I mean, why would you want to pay for them to choose what you watch when this will play anything HBO, Stars, um, any of those networks play. You just choose what you want to watch. If you feel like watching a movie from John that John Candy started in 1980, you can certainly search John Candy and watch away. Um, which brings me to my next uh, feature, which is people search. Since I'm talking about John Candy, might as well search him. So I just type in Candy. You don't have to type in the whole name because one, it takes too long, and two, it's too specific. You may think of or see other actors or uh, stars that start that have the name John or have the name Candy. John Candy happens to be the first one to pop up. Shows you a nice little picture of him.